I'm not a drug dealer. Right. I'm a jacker. Mm -hmm. So That's it. you showed us how to jack. No, 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 no. <laughs> no it was like the streets uh, influenced the music. Now it's the music. The same. No, now the music is influencing the streets. That's not true, young man. No, I disagree. Uh, well, okay, I'm going to tell you why it's not true. I you think a rapper, an yeah. actor, yeah. or entertainer, these rappers. Gonna hold it. Mm -hmm. That sit way on Gilligan Island. Mm hmm. Gonna influence niggas that's standing right there that's doing the very things they talking about. Absolutely. Even if you're not gangbanging though, right? You said even though you weren't actively gangbanging, you were still doing what you was doing. But you I ain't never saying? told nobody to do nothing wrong in my life. Well, you don't gotta tell them, right? Sometimes mm -hmm. your no. actions. Sometimes no, but my actions the, have the never my actions. Mm -hmm have never shown no kid to do nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, young man, that's mm -hmm. a myth. Y'all have it seem like guys still gangbanging after 20. It's a short period mm -hmm. of real gangbanging. I ain't talking about just gangbanging. I'm saying just in general, just criminality, just the, the get down in general. I ain't you know with what I'm that. I, yeah. I'm not a drug dealer. Right. I'm a jacker. Mm-hmm. So That's it. you showed us how to jack. No, 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 no. I ain't showed you <laughs> okay. how to jack because you're going to learn if you come with me. But I ain't yeah. not going to trust you to uh -huh. do. You're not doing what. You, mm -hmm. you know how much hard it take to go into a bank with a gun with a Fucking right. Yeah. You got to have a different. That. Yeah, you got to have a different temperament. You got to have a mindset where yeah. two men in so and one man leave. They ain't built for listen, that. Listen, I learned that early on, bro. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a temperament or because, you know, you, yeah, you got to have you got Nerves to have where when that pistol yeah, pulled, you got shit. to have be able to pull yeah. that trick. Yeah, I'm too. Well, see, that's the thing. Well, I don't know. No, cut that out. No, I was gonna say we cut that out. But I learned early on. I'm too nervous because you a fuck up. I would fuck up the play because I'd be too nervous. I'd be too quick. Now on let that me thing. tell you what, you know what I, I mean? am nervous about doing yeah. when it comes to breaking the law, and I never done it. Yeah. Breaking into a house. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I have no control over yeah, that situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never sold dope. Mm -hmm. When you see me taking mm -hmm. dope, selling dope, mm -hmm. that mean I don't took some dope. Mm -hmm. Keys are dope, mm -hmm. but we never robbed it. Blacks, mm -hmm. the Harry O's, the Freeway Ricks, mm -hmm. all them we was doing in the eighties. Yeah, we had a saying: "Death to the high roller" in the eighties. Mm -hmm. That's what we thought about drug dealers, but. We never took down no blacks. Mm. Never. Okay. That ain't no money. Why are we going to do that? In fact, that's what messed the dope game up. Because mm -hmm. the Latinos, the Contras, and all them, mm -hmm. they're the ones that let the blacks start getting money on my side of town. Mm -hmm. But don't forget, y'all, we already knew about uh, cocaine from the black exploitation era in films. Right. Come back, Charleston Blue, mm -hmm. Superfly. Mm -hmm. Pimping horn, that's the best thing going. Mm -hmm. But who at 15 gonna be thinking about selling a status drugs that's fifty, sixty thousand dollars a key? Yeah, real shit. So that was a different ball game. Mm -hmm. So now when they come out and they start meet the basin in 77, mm -hmm. 78, they eat the basin mm -hmm. and then it go to crack cocaine. But it was a status drug right, when right. we looked at it. Yeah, and then drug. it got diluted, just like gang banging yeah. and a lot of other things through evolution. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times people get the error mm -hmm. and back to about me. Mm -hmm. And I told them more and guys like us, you guys error do that shit. I don't, mm -hmm. We don't need nobody to tell us how to go to jail or how to get my ass killed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this ain't a pamphlet that come with instructions. Mm -hmm. I've never been around the original Crips, some mm -hmm. of the biggest in the world, mm -hmm. or Mar, mm -hmm. where I heard him say or tell a black kid to do anything. Mar. Right, right. And and when I say that, I don't mean like specifically you. You know, was no, telling but I'm young saying niggas, most people now the, when you talk reason, to them, they'll <clears throat> say, "I'm up under this." Yeah, I'm up under that. Yeah, I'm with this car. And and that ain't how and I ask though. that just because you know even me knocking on fifty, you know the niggas up under me, they say they say it to us like, oh man, this is you know y'all ain't show us nothing, man. Y'all just got y'all money, y'all left the hood, y'all didn't come back and show us nothing. Y'all see now there go the difference. You see what I'm saying? When we left, we were so young, we ain't had no money. Mm -hmm. See y'all up under the where these guys having money. Right. Game banging wasn't about having no goddamn money. <laughs> yeah. That tell you how yeah. this shit don't change. Mm -hmm. Everybody's profiting 
off the shit that guys did that didn't even know what they did, talking about shit they have no business talking about or having any input in the facts of what we're going to do to solve the right, problem. Right, right. And so now going to that, um, I keep wanting to call you OG, bro. But you um, can call me OG. <laughs> I keep, Ain't well, I keep wrong catching with myself it. saying Ain't nothing wrong with it, though, because <laughs> you, know, you say it with I'm a, respect. Right, right. Or you know what? I'm going to call you sir. How's that? No, you I'll can call, call me Melvin. Yeah. Before. That make me sound like so happy. All right, Melvin. Yeah, All right, Melvin. Melvin. All right, Melvin. Enough, yeah, um, so coming to that, coming. what do you you have? You know, super experience in the streets, in the legal uh, realm, and you see where we are as a culture today with the music, the streets. Back in the day, the you know it was like the streets uh influence the music now the music the same. no now the music is influencing the streets that's not true young man no i disagree uh, well, okay i'm gonna tell disagree. you why it's not true i disagree uh, okay i'm gonna tell you let's hear your mm -hmm. opinion why you think the streets you think a rapper yeah. an actor yeah or entertainer these rappers gonna hold it mm -hmm. that sit way on gilligan island mm -hmm. Gonna influence niggas that's standing right there that's doing the very things they talking about. Absolutely. So now, mm -hmm. you telling me if they change the lyrics, I wouldn't give a damn if they start singing Swing Low Sweet Charietta. Mm -hmm. That ain't gonna change the shit and the conditions on the streets until yeah. you have economical empowerment. Yep, I agree. Yep. To where they can start singing about jobs. Mm -hmm and go from tax burdens to taxpayers. Mm -hmm. You can stop the lyrics. Let me tell you about rap and they lyrics. You had a freedom to speak, First Amendment. Yep. So you can say any goddamn thing yeah. you want. The only thing wrong with rap is their go, and what they tell you, anything you say like Dragnet, anything you say can and be will used against you, correct? Mm-hmm. They only go to jail because they say shit that sit up there and implicate them in criminal activity. Right. So, right. what does rap influence the streets? I'm gonna tell you why. Because everybody is on this, right? So you got a lot of square ass rappers. You have, most of these niggas ain't even that. They not even what they rapping about, right? But they'll get on that fucking tape. They'll get on the song and they'll rap about it. They'll sensationalize it. Then squares, just like them, will emulate that. Then what happens is when they get the popularity and they get the money, then that's when they really lean into the shit. Think about but it. This, L hold on, hold on, right. hold on. Ahead, this is LA. So you know how they do, right? But I don't so see, think about mm -hmm. it. Think about it. How many celebrities, how many rappers and singers, I ain't gonna name no names, get money and ain't from here and run their ass to Compton, run their ass to LA. And, and get up under some some hood niggas, and it's like you a superstar. You but the man. But that go to answer to your question you see what right I'm saying? there. What they saying on TV don't mean shit on no radio, no rapping mm -hmm. because they're not. What they all of them have somebody. No, they no. Get so what we but what we talking cred. about is influence because well, this is what they'll do. See, they'll sell it. Well, they'll get the money and the influence. I understand. And it. then what this is what they'll do. They'll they'll get with some solid niggas. To, to try to, you know, they'll buy them, you know what I mean? And get them with okay, them. I and agree. then talk to the people and say, look, I'm real, nigga, I'm well, Compton, I'm Pyro. It like it's like, nigga, okay, you from North let Carolina. Me put it like, like this, this way, we, <laughs> two answers could be correct. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. My niggas don't look and idolize mm -hmm. rappers. Yeah, the real ones. Yeah, no, okay, yeah. But we so talk about these kids, though. I, okay, so we talk no, about let a different generation now. I think now, about so. when it comes to kids, and you got to go a little bit deeper with me, young man. It ain't the rappers. It's the parents that don't look at the discretion the, and let them look that's a part at of rap it. That's a part as of a it. way of babysitting them, and they let them look at shit without monitoring. That's part of it. And then when you come around, they sit up in here, and then you wonder why. Mm -hmm. It ain't about rap. That's rap part of ain't it. at home when you know your goddamn kid up mm -hmm. there stealing some shit or mm -hmm. selling dope in your so, ass. So let, me, so let me say this. What the rap got to do so with So I'm not that? saying necessarily yeah. rap. I'm just saying the rappers, the message that's getting put out no, there. No, what, what the saying, thing to you know me I mean? about rappers is how they wearing all this gaudy ass fake jewelry, making you think that's the thing to do <laughs> yeah. when they should be telling your ass to buy a home and invest it. Nah, that's so, true. So don't come at me about the influence. E40 said shit. that. Yeah. They don't influence a goddamn thing. Nah, but they do. 
Not to me. Yeah. And to a lot I mean, of us on the street. But no, no, but see, they no, no, no. influence those that. They not. So think about it. A, tw- a 20 you year old ain't going to. A rapper mean the Hold on, bro. Thing. A 20 year old rapper is not going to influence a 60 year old man. No, we talking about the kids. So we talking about a 20 year old rapper talking to other 17, 18 year old motherfuckers that look up to him. And but they, he ain't talking about, he talking about drugs. He ain't talking about no goddamn going to kill nobody. They talking that's about. That's all they talking about. Yeah, they talking all they talking about, about is stepping. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> Drill shit. Drill shit. But I've been around yeah. it, but you going to, no music going to make you do that unless you have it in your heart to do that, young man. I disagree. You thinking disagree. somebody, you take a lot of heart. I disagree. Because you know what? Even if it, well, this is the thing, right? Because I was a gangster rapper. I understand both sides of it, right? Even if it no more than influences that negative attitude. You see what I'm saying? You get a nigga who just really ain't with it, but he think he want to be with it. So he put on the uniform, he learned the lingo, he learned the energy, right? So he going with that. You know, he going with what 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 young boy and all these niggas done said and Dirk and all of them. Yeah, I'm a stepper, you know what I mean? But then he run into a nigga who may be a little bit further down the line than him in that. And he really may be that, right? So then he get put on the spot. Yeah, I got to have this attitude. It all starts with the attitude. You know, the seeds that you sow. You campaign, at some point you're going to get elected. You keep campaigning, you won't find what mm-hmm. you're looking for. So even if no more than turning a nigga out with that negative energy. And I'm not blaming rap. I'm not like necessarily pointing the finger and, you know what I'm saying, looking for a scapegoat. But I'm just saying, you know, what do you think that that we can do? Because that's the question I started with. What do you think is the fix for, for, for all of this bullshit, for all the negative culture? I mean, think about it. We celebrate criminality. Like, think about it. We real, even in LA, I know I'm from Kansas City, but I've been out here 20 years, right? And me and my daughter was just talking about this. Even if you think to, to a degree, us as a culture, we celebrate criminality, right? Criminality is what we equate that to being real. So when we say, oh, that nigga ain't real, that nigga ain't did a day in jail, that nigga ain't this, that nigga ain't that, it usually comes back to something negative. Would you agree? Mm-hmm. Okay, so like in LA, right? It's a thing with, you know, your gangster, your gangster's verified if you've been to jail. If you ain't been to jail, then somehow or another you ain't real. That's that's not necessarily true. To an, to an to, extent, but would you say that no, it, it is people that, that I subscribe tell people, to that? I, no, see, mm-hmm. you different than a different animal. Mm-hmm. That's what you used to be in. Mm-hmm. But y'all ain't been around real OGs. Mm-hmm. No, I'm saying, but I'm mm-hmm. not saying you. No. I'm saying, but do you acknowledge that that is a thing that people do say? They do subscribe oh, to that. Oh, but they also got yeah. people that tell a man, don't live this life I live the For way sure. if your ass listen, For sure. you won't have to go through it, like right. in case in point here. Mm-hmm. Y'all will listen to a nigga that ain't did one day in jail like he the king shit, and mm-hmm. he ain't never experienced it. Mm-hmm. They can't come to the streets and talk to nobody. Mm-hmm. We so, can, so... so Go ahead. So that's what I, so you just kind of made my point. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. So why why is that? Why is that a nigga who ain't been to jail but still has life, wisdom, and experience can say, hey, hey, youngster, you don't want to go down that road. You don't want to, right from wrong, you, we know, we understand what that is, nigga. You going to get killed. But a lot of them jail. don't want to hear that. They you know why? Glamour. No, you know why? Because we celebrate criminality, and that's what I'm saying. So you're right. making my no, point No, I got me. your point yeah. on that. Yeah. But- that comes back to where they got their thoughts on the wrong, everything I hear talking about. I'm home caught, standing trial. Why ain't I see you round back when I was down? Karma's on the way. What goes around comes around, karma's on the way. There's nothing you could do now, you gotta pay.